Today was a big day for the city of Birmingham. The landmarks in the Birmingham Civil Rights Historic District have been designated as a national monument. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostrov joins us now live from the Birmingham Civil Rights National Monument. And Jamie, a lot of fanfare today. Definitely, Sherry. Important civil rights landmarks like the 16th Street Baptist Church and the 4th Avenue Business District are going to be protected as part of the national park system. Now, of course, this comes with about a million dollars in federal grant money for the city of Birmingham, and then there is that untold influx of tourism dollars. But today was really about the value that you cannot measure with money. Mayor William Bell was 12 years old, the first time he saw Martin Luther King Jr. speak at a Birmingham church. I could feel the hair on the back of my neck stand up as he talked about human rights and everyone being treated equally and fairly. Thursday, Bell stood inside the 16th Street Baptist Church to announce that a dream had become a reality. Were it not for the struggles here in the city of Birmingham, none of us would be, would be where we are this day, including the President of the United States. In one of his final acts in office, America's first African-American president designated the Birmingham Civil Rights National Monument. Preserving the church, the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute, the A.G. Gaston Motel, and Kelly Ingram Park for generations to come. An action so profound, it brought Bell to tears. I wish my mom was here. I wish so many other people who have gone on could see this day. It brought foot soldiers back to their feet. When we study history, we have learned that that was his story. Now we are going to be able to tell our story, and that's going to make a difference. It brought peace for those who suffered in the name of equality. Today, when we talk about Birmingham, Alabama, when we talk about the life of the girls in this church, Everyone smiles because we know that there has come a new beginning for all of us. God has smiled on Birmingham today. A Freedom Riders National Monument was also designated today in Anniston. Live in Birmingham, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News. Thank you.